Hello guys and welcome back to CEBOX Tutorial Channel and this is our situation number 17 came from CEBOR exam May 2022 for Structural Engineering and Construction. But before we start to solve this problem, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. The truss is loaded as shown in the figure. Given the following data, S is equivalent to 1.5 meters, H is equivalent to 3.0, and the wind loading acting normal to the roof are P1, which is equivalent to 13 kilonewton, and P2 is equivalent to 6.5 kilonewton. So, sulat mo tayong mga given. So, yung ating S daw ay equivalent sa 1.5. So, 1.5 lahat yan. Then, ang ating H is equivalent to 3.0 meters. Tapos, yung mga loadings natin, this is 13 kilonewton para sa P1. And then, sa P2 natin is equivalent to 6.5 kN. So, number 1, what is the reaction at A? As you can see here, A is a roller support. Therefore, ang kanyang reaction ay perpendicular sa kanyang uh, surface. Ang surface natin is horizontal. Therefore, ang ating reaction is vertical. So, this is our RA. So, sulat na rin natin yung reaction natin sa B. Ang ating BI pin support, therefore, meron siyang dalawang ano, reaction, isang vertical, saka isang horizontal. So ngayon, uh, di ba may dalawa tayong solution na pwedeng magamit to solve the reaction at A? It is summation of forces vertical and summation of moment. Pero hindi natin pwedeng uh, magamit ng basta-basta ang summation of forces vertical since dalawa yung ating unknown vertical Reaction. So, no choice tayo kundi gumamit ng moment. And syempre, mag-moment tayo sa B para lang makuha yung ating RA. Unfortunately, uh, yung ating mga loadings ay wala namang perpendicular distance papunta kay B. So, anong gagawin natin? Ang gagawin natin is to resolve the, or to resolve these loadings into vertical and horizontal component. So, ang gagawin kasi ng karaniwang ano dyan, mga students is, of course, iisa-isahin niya. Pero ano bang na-observe natin sa mga loadings na to? Ang ating loadings ay symmetrical sa ating member AC or doon sa ating mismong roofing. Therefore, ilocate na lang natin ang kanyang resultant. Na kung saan ang resultant nito ay nasa gitna. Yan. So, ang resultant nito is 13 na tatlo plus 6.5 na dalawa. So, this is 52 kilonewton. So, ito yung ating overall resultant and itong 52 kN na to is yung i-resolve na lang natin into uh, vertical and horizontal component. Yan. So, paano ba ito? Di ba, tinuro na rin namin to sa ibang mga videos namin. Kapag ganyan, kailangan nyo lang alamin yung relationship ng ating resultant force or force dun sa ating slope. Ano ba ang slope natin? Okay, as you can see here, Ang slope natin is, this is 3. Kung apat na S to, this is 6, no? So, 3 over 6. So, 1 half ang ating slope. So, 1 and this is 2. So, square root of 5. Yan. So, ngayon, alam niya natin ang relationship ng ating force sa ating uh, hypotenuse. Ang hypotenuse, hypotenuse natin dito is ito, yung ating AC rin, di ba? Which is perpendicular. Yun naman talaga kapag wind loading kasi perpendicular talaga siya sa roofing. So, perpendicular siya. So, ibig sabihin, ang dapat na partner ng ating vertical force is perpendicular din sa kanya, which is yung ating slope na 2. Tapos, ito naman is yung kapartner niya, yung vertical slope na 1. Kasi yun yung mga perpendicular sa kanila. Kaya, itong ating Fy, and ito yung ating Fx, masod natin yan. Fy, is equivalent to force na 52 multiplied by yung partner niya, which is 2, then over 5. Tapos yung ating Fx is equivalent to 52, tapos yung partner niya, which is yung 1, then over, ah, sorry, this is square root of 5. Yan. So, 52 multiplied by 2 over square root of 5. So, 46.51. Tapos yung sa naman, 23.26. Tama ba? 23.26. Ayan. So, ayan. Pwede na tayong mag-moment sa B. 
as long as alam natin yung kanilang mga perpendicular distance or moment arm papunta kay B. Kasi yung Fx natin, ang kanyang moment arm is ito. So, ilan ba to? Yan, ilan ba to? Kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, symmetrical kasi yung ating ano, no? Yung ating truss. Tapos natin 3.0 is mahati sa ilang ano? Ilan? Apat. Okay, yan siya. Mahati siya sa apat. So, let's say this is A na lang. Yan. So, 3 over 4. So, 0.75 ang isa. Yan. Para tuloy ako nagbebenta ron. 0.75 po ang isa. Okay. Anyway. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating Fx is may dalawang A. Okay. Yun yung kanyang moment arm. So, ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-moment at B. So, for number 1, summation of moment at B is equivalent to 0. Clockwise is positive. So, Ra multiplied by ilang S. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 na S na tigo 1.5. That is 12. Okay. Then, okay, yung fx natin iikot ng clockwise din. So, plus fx which is 23.26 multiplied by dalawang a. That is 0.75 multiplied by 2. That is 1.5. Tapos yung ating fy iikot ng counterclockwise sa b. That is negative fy na 46.51 multiplied by how many s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ilan yun? 6 multiplied by 1.5. So, 9. So, 9 meters is equivalent to 0. So, masasabi natin ngayon ng A. So, RA multiplied by 12 plus 23.26 multiplied by 1.5 minus 46.51 multiplied by 9 is equivalent to 0. Ayan. So, 31.975. Malapit sa 31.94. So, 31.975 kilo newton. And since positive ang ating RA, therefore, tama yung ating assumed direction for RA na directed upward. Next. Number 2, what is the horizontal reaction at B? Horizontal reaction. Uh, obvious na to. Ang ating BH, ang galeresis lang niya is yung Fx. So, by summation of forces horizontal is equivalent to 0. To the right is positive. Uh, this is negative BH kasi to the left. Then plus FX which is equivalent to 23.26 is equivalent to 0. So therefore, ang ating BH is equivalent to 23.26 kN. And positive na kuha natin. Therefore, tama yung ating assumed direction sa BH. It is directed to the left. Next, number 3. What is the reaction of vertical web member CD? Nasaan ba ang CD natin? Ayan, ito. If a vertical load of 27.5 kN is applied at joint D. Ito raw. Kung meron tayong i-apply dito na load na 27.5 kN. And napakasimple lang nitong ano na to, tanong. Obvious na obvious ang sagot dito. Ang sagot sa CD is 27.5 kN. Bakit naging 27.5? So, pakita natin sa solution natin. Kasi di ba ano, uh, joint dito, so punta tayo sa joint D. Mag ano tayo, method of joint. So at joint D, ito yung ating member. Uh, wala itong letter anyway. CD, let's say this is E and this is F. So ito nyan, member E, uh, D, E and D, F. Tapos ito yung ating member CD. Tapos ito yung ating applied load na 27.5 kilo newton. So, ito yung ating internal force for DE, internal force for DF, and ito yung ating internal force for CD. So, obvious na ang, ang i-resist lamang ng CD is yung 27.5 kN. At unless kung meron pa tayong additional members dito, ganyan. So, magbabago yung ating uh, internal force for CD. So, CD lang pinapahanap rito. No? Therefore, ang ating CD is equivalent to 27.5 kilo newton. But, this is not uh, enough ano, uh, answer kasi kailangan natin matukoy kung anong type of force to. So, as you can see here, ang ating CD is papalayo sa ating cross-sectional area. So, ibig sabihin, i-elongate niya yung ating member CD. Therefore, yung ating uh, force sa CD is tension. Ayan. 
So, napaka-simple, diba? Napaka-basic lang itong, ano, ganitong problem. And, biruin nyo, kung ibibigay ito sa board exam ninyo sa November 2022, napaka-ganda kasi, napaka-basic lang niya. Uh, Nag-start tayo ng, ano, ng trust analysis, mag, uh, way back sa status of rigid bodies pa lang. Tapos, pagpunta natin sa strength of materials, mas nahasa pa tayo, and mas lalo na sa structural theory subject. Okay? So, ayan. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. And this is our situation number 17, came from CE Board Exam, May 2022 for Structural Engineering and Construction. So, thank you for watching. Bye!